Welcome to Ionic 2 tutorial. This is video number 10. I am Jayesh Lahare. In this session, we will learn about slide control of Ionic uh, framework. If you are an Android developer, then you might be aware of implementing a pager controller in which you can uh, create different slides and uh, you can show the different uh, pager indicators. So the same way we can implement the slides in uh, Ionic framework. So let's see how we can implement uh, slides control in Ionic framework. As you can see, this is the example of uh, Ionic slides with uh, beautiful effects provided over uh, different slides and pa uh, pages. So this is the example. So let's write the code for this. Let's create a new project called slide sample uh, with blank template. Okay, it looks like a project is created. So let's go inside the project directory and let's use ionic sub command. Now let's edit the code. Let's go to home.html which is located in pages directory and let's remove this uh, template code. So for this tutorial purpose we will require few images, sample images so I already downloaded those and uh, here you, here you can see that uh, these are the sample images which we are going to use in our uh, uh, slide project. So I will copy it and I will just move it to our uh, Ionic folder, Ionic project folder. So we have for that we have to create uh, one directory in assets and I am going to create one. Let's call it img and in this directory let's create let's put all the images okay here we go you can see these are the images now let's write code for uh, uh, ionic ion slides So whenever you create any slide control then make sure you start with ion slides because ion slides works as a container for different slides so always remember there is a s character s s for singapore in the last of a slide so this is our container and in this container we have to write a few slides slide slide code and in that uh, statement s is not visible or as s is not there so s is ion slide and in this slide we can put our code whatever we want for example let's put some text over here slide one i'll copy this line Slide two and slide three. So let's save it and let's see how it looks in our browser. Oops, it looks like it's a, there is a typo, so it should be I own slide. save it and here we go you can see that uh, it's working like a uh, slide control and uh, even you can see that in uh, mobile view
so this is the slide control so this is the hard coded one and uh, in most of the cases uh, we do not uh, like to write this kind of code uh, using this hard coded way so in most of the cases we generally use array or some background code which generates uh, uh, material for uh, this slide control so we will take uh, reference of that only so i'm going to remove this code and uh, here let's uh, make let's write some typescript code so i'm going to maintain one array which will uh, hold the path of uh, these uh, sample images and th that array will be traversed in our home.html file and we will show those images in different slides so let's say images of type any and I will create one method called init in constructor let's call this method and here let's initialize this with uh, array and so I have five images one two three four five six sorry six images so I will uh, create a loop which will start from one to six let i equal to one i less than equal to six and here let's push uh, this let's push the path of uh, our images in this uh, array and the path is Assets slash img slash uh, sample. So you can hard code over here, but it's not going to work. So I will just uh, write the prefix of our file name, which is sample underscore, and I will take the help of this variable i, which will give us uh, complete name of uh, image i plus remaining name of our file which is uh, .jpg and we are done so we have uh, created uh, images uh, array which we which which, which is keeping a path of uh, these uh, sample images and we are going to use these sample images in home.ts so now let's traverse this and here let's take the help of uh, ng4 so basically ng4 is just a for loop in uh, angular js sorry angular 2 and let's traverse our images array so this is the array which we have declared in our uh, typescript file this one and in this typescript in this uh, array we have uh, put all the image path now let's take the help of uh, ion sorry uh, image directive and src equal to img this img is a uh, element of this now let's save the code and let's see whether it's reflect in our browser and here we go you can see the slide is created So in Ionic slide, you can put different effects and uh, even you can play it, uh, you can make it auto play. So there are few uh, few attributes which you need to set in Ion slide. And uh, for that, you just have to put uh, those attribute over here, say auto play. And auto play is the time in, uh, for which you want to show the slide on screen. Let's say 1000. 1000 is millisecond let's save the code and let's see 
it's uh, still loading so here you can see i am not tra traversing it but it's uh, automatically uh, displaying the different slides oops so you can see that it's a traversing automatically it's changing slides one by one but it it happens only one once one time and if you want to make sure that uh, this continue keep playing and keep showing the different slides then you have to uh, add one more attribute which is called loop and you have to make its value to true by default it's a uh, loop attribute is false so if you make it true then it, it keep playing it keep showing slides one by one and uh, that uh, display uh, that, that display of slides will never end and here we go this is the last slide and it, it automatically start with the first one in in slide in many cases it happens that you want to show some uh, indicator that uh, what is the uh, what is the index of uh, current slide so for that you, there are number of uh, attributes so there is one more attribute called uh, pager so if you make it true by default it is false so if you make it true then it will show indicator on screen here we go you can see on the bottom of the screen there are uh, indicators which showing that which uh, which number of slide is uh, displayed on the screen and you can uh, you can add different effects in uh, your ionic slide too so let's see how we can add different effects so to see the effects i'm just going to remove this uh, auto play uh, attribute and loop attribute because uh, i don't want to keep it running i just want that the user should play it uh, one by one so let's effect different effect effect equal to like a flip effect is there so if you add this attribute and save it then when you will traverse slide it will show beautiful flip effect of slide and here you can see let's try let let's try another effect which is a cube save it now let's see you can see that there is a very beautiful effect of a cube over slide So you can write as many as slides on screen you want. Even you can copy the, this one and you can try with the different effects. I will just copy this line. And I will create another slide with a different effect called cover flow. And let's save it. now we have two slides one with the cube effect and another one with uh, cover flow effect there are some uh, pagination type uh, attributes also you can take the help of that also so let's see how pagination type can help us to 
achieve some functionality so I can write uh, I can create one more slide with uh, one more attribute called uh, pagination type and pagination type you can use progress or bullet or whatever you want save it now let's see how it looks so here you can see on top of uh, this slide control there is a one progress bar and as as you slide the this slide it will show you the progress that how much slides are uh, we have we have progressed so in in the end this progress bar is completely filled with the max value and when you traverse in uh, opposite direction then it will reduce by one So you can write the code for slide and you can uh, play with the different attributes of Ionic slide for uh, for any tutorial or any other video you can write to uh, my video and give the feedback about this tutorial and um, I will create one for you. So thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day.